10 Sigma Male Habits Hello guys, welcome back to Alpha Show, a channel that will completely change your life from negative to positive and make you the person you always wanted to be. After this video, you will learn the typical Sigma Male Habits and know if you are part of this rare male personality group. Everyone has a thing to say about Alpha and Beta Males, but only a few discuss the enigmatic Sigma Males. This group is an outsider, mysterious and yet successful at what they do. An average Sigma dude is the direct opposite of the polar alpha guy, yet he could attract more ladies than the latter. I'll discuss the salient habits that set Sigma males wide apart from every other type of male personality. With that, I hope you learn how to become a Sigma male if you are not one already. Who is a Sigma male? This is a man within the socio-sexual hierarchy who prefers to live his life outside of the normal social dominance hierarchy. Sigma males share many habits in common with the alpha archetype, even though their tendency to walk outside of the confines of traditional social dominance hierarchies places them apart and makes them different. The typical Sigma male is majorly defined by his tendency to leave the traditional social dominance hierarchies of modern society. This type of man treads the solitary path, and they are sometimes called wanderers or lone wolves. 10 Sigma Male Personality Habits Number 1. He doesn't follow the crowd. Sigma males are nonconformist by nature, and they don't try to stand out or get noticed. They know who they are and are comfortable with it. Sigma males are not interested in looking for validation or self-branding. They go about their business with a sense of purpose and mission, and don't concern themselves with petty things going on around them. A Sigma male just goes around doing his own thing. A Sigma male moves to the beat of his own drum. If the herd is heading to the right, the Sigma male will tend to go left. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, it is because this type of man values different things than other men. An overwhelming majority of other archetypes are going to place a priority on how a certain action or trend will affect their societal status. An overwhelming majority of other archetypes are going to place a priority on how a certain action or trend will affect their societal status. But sigmas are different. They see societal expectations and pressures as good for nothing. Number two, he only speaks when he has something worthwhile to say. Sigma males don't have a problem with not speaking. They don't need to broadcast their views or convince anyone that they are right. They have principles and beliefs that work for them, and they are always open to change as they progress and grow in life. A Sigma male's watchword is, does this make me a better man and improve my life? He is quietly confident, and when he speaks, people listen because he knows what he is talking about. Number three, he could easily be alpha, but he chooses not to boast. Sigma male is a more refined version of traditional alphas. They do not need to chest thump because they know that if a man needs to tell people how great he is, he is probably showy. The Sigma guy knows that everything he needs is already inside him. He expresses his confidence and masculinity through his general vibe and how he lives in the world. He is not as public as your regular alpha male. Number four, he is attractive to to women, but does not need to be in a relationship with one. Women are attracted to men with a bit of mystery and with goals and purpose who are actively pursuing them. In summary, this is the Sigma male. This type of men also enjoy the company of quality women, but they do not use women as a self-validation tool. Several men put women on pedestals and seek them to get sex. The Sigma dude's focus is being the best man he can be. He stays on his purpose and lets a quality woman come to him. Another thing that makes them attractive to men is their self-assuredness. Number five, he values his independence and freedom. Given the non-conformist nature of the Sigma male, he will work for himself or have a goal for himself and be actively towards that goal. He values his independence and freedom and finds it difficult to be constrained by a job and a boss and the social norms and political correctness that goes along with it. The idea of asking for time off to travel and leaving that decision in someone else's hands makes the Sigma male smile and shake his head. Additionally, the Sigma male is probably the most self-sufficient of the male archetypes Archetypes. It is common for such type of men to travel. They may not even own an apartment or house. They may be just as comfortable with less but a backpack of essentials as they would with a home of their own. 
This is owing to the fact that sigmas are strong natural survivors, and since they are almost always lone wolves, they quickly adapt to taking care of themselves. They feed themselves and earn their own money, they foot their own bills, they provide themselves with their own company, companionship, nurturing and value in life. If they desire something, they go all out and get it. If they need something, they will find a way to get it on their own. Number six, he is comfortable in any environment. A typical Sigma male is naturally comfortable in his own skin. When he is in a new environment, he doesn't concern himself with do they like me or feel inferior or nervous as a result. He understands that he is a high value man. Of course, he would not say that or try to convince anyone of it because he doesn't need to. He knows it. How he carries himself and speaks boldly to convey the message. He likes meeting new people from different backgrounds and tries to learn something from all of them. Sigma could work standard jobs and may even spend time with family, friends and or dating partners. These situations demand a particular level of assimilation into their respective social dominance hierarchies, and a Sigma male rises to the challenge in an effective way. But bear in mind that he is also able to escape depending on these hierarchies or environment. In other words, he may go to work and do his work as he's supposed to, but he will not be dependent on his boss, his co-workers or the income to maintain his happiness or life. In the case that he grows tired of that particular workplace, quitting is easy for him. Even if he is well-beloved and well-respected by the others in his environment, he naturally avoids entangling himself in such a way that quitting would be problematic for him. This is the nature of the Sigma male. He is always ready, willing and able to walk away on his own. Number seven, he has presence and charisma. A Sigma male carries himself with dignity and self-respect. He can stand alone in a room full of people and feel totally at ease. His general mood is confident and relaxed. He has a real charisma that people can sense that allows him to connect with them. Sigmas have the consistency of presence and never feel the need to change who they are to fit the occasion. Number eight, he is unplugged from the matrix. The Sigma man is not connected to the mainstream culture. He recognizes that several people in the world are consumer driven. They want instant gratification and they need social validation to feel good about themselves. The Sigma male is not a recluse. He goes into the world and succeeds, but he prefers not to buy into mass social consciousness or to participate in the folly of the crowd. Number nine, he has higher than average intelligence. Naturally, Sigmas are intelligent men. If they were not, they would not be Sigmas. I do not mean academic intelligence, even though they have that too. A full-fledged Sigma male is also emotionally intelligent as he does not fall victim to fickle emotional swings. He is also socially intelligent. Number 10, he stands as the lone wolf. All the habits I have mentioned earlier culminate in the Sigma male's biggest advantage over other men, which is the ability to be the lone wolf. He does not need anyone to tell him who he is. The alpha male makes women a source of pleasure. The Sigma male doesn't need one to feel good about himself. He gets on well with similar-minded men and is a loyal friend, but he doesn't need a peer group around him to feel confident. He doesn't need for him to be part of a tribe to feel like he has dignity. The Sigma male can spend time alone. In fact, he seeks it out because that is when he is most productive and can concentrate on his purpose and goals. This is not to say that a Sigma male is perfect. He understands this and he is on a never-ending journey to be the best man he can be. Sigmas do not talk about it or need encouragement from anyone. They just get on with it, preferring to live as a high-quality man living an above-average life, all on their terms. Other things to know about Sigma male. Where does the Sigma male fit on the socio-sexual hierarchy? The definite role of the Sigma male archetype in the modern socio-sexual hierarchy is highly controversial, but it describes a man who goes his own way living as a lone wolf. The term is often used together with the MGTOW philosophy, which is men going their own way. Men who believe in the MGTOW thought to tend to see themselves as sigmas. They view the thought of walking away from socio-dominance hierarchies and becoming a lone wolf as similar to the MGTOW idea of walking away from women and modern society. But despite the clear ideological connection between the sigma male archetype and MGTOW, 
that is not the only filter through which to view the true identity of the Sigma male. To get a clear view of how a Sigma fits into today's socio-sexual hierarchy, we need to examine how the various male archetypes fit together. What motivates the Sigma male? Imagine this, a king in his court is filled with servants and a travelling storyteller or wanderer who visits the king. Now, the alpha male is the king, the helpers or servants are the beta males, and the travelling guest is the sigma male. The sigma male may eat with the king and he may even hold the king's favour. His successes or exploits, while not necessarily popular, may earn him admiration and respect. He does not take a wife, but he sleeps with his pick of the most gorgeous women from the king's court. Then he quickly leaves the court to continue his journey. Unlike beta males, the sigma male does not lust for the king's power or favour. In fact, he perhaps genuinely never cares if the king likes or dislikes him. This is because he views positions as meaningless. He doesn't compete with the betas because he doesn't care enough about the social dominance hierarchy to bother with trying to get himself a place within it. Sigma males are not interested in tribal links. Typically, alpha males spend more resources climbing through the hierarchies and building tribes. Consequently, they reap the rewards of strong tribal links, tribal resources, and higher social status. The advantages of these tribal investments are valuable, but the alpha male also has huge responsibility, effort, and stress in exchange for the benefits. Don't mistake the Sigma's rejection of society as a response to being hurt or alienated. Rejecting society as a response to being hurt or alienated is actually an Amiga male trait, and it should not be confused with Sigma's behavior. Sigma males do not reject society because they were hurt and are feeling sorry for themselves or shunning themselves. Sigmas have not given up on society out of frustration, unlike Amigas. They reject society solely because they never cared about it. While Sigma males seem to be cool and without faults, they are not perfect. They have their own shortcomings too. Which other Sigma habit do you have but is not mentioned?